Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to add text to your SVG using Adobe Illustrator. This is my file from the last video where we added color to our SVG. So if you haven't seen that video yet or the one before it, you can go ahead and watch those. As you can see, the dinosaur is right inside of the white artboard. So I don't really have room to add text. So I'm gonna make the artboard bigger. So I'm gonna go over here to the artboard tool and click that. And then I can just make the artboard bigger. Once you're done, you can just click the select tool again. The simple way to add text is just to grab the text tool here and just click on your design wherever you want the text to be. And then you can just type out your text. Then we can just do some basic changes to this. So I'm gonna go back to my select tool. Then I can put this where I want it. I'm gonna switch over to the character panel. If you don't see that, you can go to window, type, character. Over here, we can change the font, we can make the text bigger, and we can change the line spacing if you have multiple lines, and you can change the letter spacing over here. So you can do all kinds of things in the character panel. So you can go ahead and mess around with that if you want. But I'm also going to show you how you can have a little more fun with the text. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to show you how to do text on a path. So we can start with using a shape. So you can grab your ellipse tool and you can just make it however you want the text to curve. That's how you're gonna make your shape. So if I want to kind of curve around the dinosaur, I would kind of go like this. After you draw that, you can switch to your type on a path tool. So you can hold down your mouse on the type tool and then go down to the type on a path tool and that's what you're going to select and then with that you can mouse over your circle and then click and then you'll have text it might put the default text there or it might have no text it kind of depends on your settings but then here i could actually just type out just hatched and then I can go back to my select tool. You can use the little lines here to move the text around. First of all, I have the text left aligned. So if I go up here and click to center it, now it's in the center, but it is down at the bottom here. So if I mouse over and find the little arrows, then I can kind of move it around. So once you mouse over and you see a little arrow with a line, then you can use that. And each of these means something. So like the one over here that has the line to the left, it means that this is like the right bounds of the text. And then the one over here that has the arrow pointing to the right, this is the left bounds of the text. So the text is gonna be to the right of it. So if you want the text perfectly centered and you have it aligned center, then you would want this little handle to be like perfectly on the left here and this little handle to be perfectly on the right. And then this one up here, you have a handle too. And that'll give you a little up arrow and that lets you flip it into the inside. So that's how you can move your text around. Now I'm also gonna show you a third way that you can do it. So if I delete this, then I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm just going to make a path of however I want the text to go. So I'm gonna click and drag for the first point and then I'll click and drag and then this is how I'm going to make a curve and if you want some more detail on this check out my first video in this series where you just make the SVG and I explain how to make a path with the pen tool in a lot more detail and then to end this I'm just going to click escape so now I have this cool path here and I'm gonna grab my text on a path tool, or you can even also just use the type tool and it'll just turn into the text on a path tool when you mouse over it. You can see the icon there. And then I'm just gonna click it, and then I'm gonna type my text here. And as you can see, it kinda cut it off, there wasn't enough room, but if I go back to my select tool, then I can move the left and right boundaries just like we did last time. You can also edit this path. Once you have it here, you can use the direct selection tool. 
And you can actually click on the individual points and then you can edit the path. So I think I want the text to be to the right a little bit more. So I'm going to click in here with my select tool and I'm just gonna push it over a bit. I can grab my direct select tool if I want to edit the points. And I think I'll just make the text a little bit bigger and maybe pick a different font. Another thing that we can do is if you want the font to be kind of black outlined like the image, we can do that too. What we're gonna do is make the font be a different color so that we have it as a color and then with the black outline. I'm gonna make it match the shell. So let me grab the shell color. So I have the shell color as my foreground color. So I'm gonna go over to swatches and create a new swatch and click OK. So I have this swatch here. So now I can grab my text and click on the swatch and now the text is that color. Now we're going to add our outline. We can go over to the stroke panel and you can go to window stroke if you don't see it. I'm going to add a weight to it. So I'm just gonna click this up and I want the corner and the cap to be round. That's gonna be important because sometimes if you don't do that, you'll have like these weird corners like jutting out. So make sure you do that. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and here's the trick is that with Illustrator, you can't really just do that because as you can see, it kind of bleeds into the text. So you'll have to have two layers. So once you have your stroke on your text kind of thick, then you can do copy and paste in place. So now you have a second one on top of it, as you can see if I move it. And then this one, I'm going to give it no stroke. So I'm gonna go over to the color panel and where we have the fill and stroke here, I'm gonna click on the stroke and then I'm gonna set it to none. Now, as you can see, you have the one in the front is just the text. And then when it's overlaid over the part in the back, the part in the back has the outline. And we can make the outline even thicker in the back. So I'm just going to click on this and maybe make it even thicker. You just kind of have to see how you like it. Let's just modify the artboard a little bit just to make it more condensed. So I'm gonna go over here and click the artboard icon and then I can just pull it down and may as well pull these sides in too. And then I'll go back to the select tool and then let's save this. So I'm gonna do save as, let's save it as an Illustrator file. And then up here, I'm gonna do Triceratops color with text and save. This is going to be our actual editable file. So if you ever wanted to come in and change the text instead of just hatched, maybe do like someone's name or something, then you could just come in here and edit the text. So then we're going to have a file that is just shapes, just like we did with our dinosaur. So I'm gonna do file, save as, and let's do Triceratops color with text, shape. So now we're going to convert it all to shapes. So we can grab both of these guys, and then I'm gonna go to object, expand. Okay, we can look at it. If we switch over to the direct selection tool, then you can see all of the little nodes for the outlines. And then we have this one here and it has the actual text outline and the outline. So I'm going to grab all of it and I'm going to go to my Pathfinder. Of course, you can do Window, Pathfinder. If you don't see it, I'm going to click this first icon right here in the Pathfinder and that just combines everything into one shape. And then I just clicked it and everything is still separated out. You can tell because of all the little lines where the text is separated from the outline. So if that happens, then you can go up here and do object expand and you're just gonna do it again and click okay. Now we can do this again and there we go, it combined. One last thing is I would like to fill in some of these just itty bitty holes like in the A because they're just so tiny. I don't think it really makes sense for the Cricut to have to cut those out. So if I go over here and grab my direct selection tool and then I'll just click one of the nodes in that little 
tiny section. So as long as I just click one of them and then I can delete and delete again. And that just took that whole part out. And then I'll move over to the next one and do the same thing. So I'm going to click that one little point and then I'll delete and delete again. And if you're on Windows, it's going to be backspace and backspace again. Now I can put my text back over the black part. I'm going to save this since we always want to save as we go. And the last part is that we want the colors that go together to be together. I'm going to click the shell and I'm going to hold down shift and I'll click the just hatched. And I'm going to go to object, compound path, make. And then we want the black part. We can move this out of the way if we need to. And then I'm going to click the black part of the just hatched and then hold down shift and click the silhouette. And then I'm going to do object, compound path, make. And as you can see, it came to the front. So we can just do object, arrange, send to back. And now it's in the back. And we can put this color back where it goes. And save. And now we can save as an SVG also. So I'll do save as SVG. And we already have with text shape in the file name. So that's good. Now we can switch over to design space. I'm in a new project in Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to go to upload, upload image, browse, and I'm going to grab my Triceratops color with text shape. So let's open that and add to canvas. And here it is. So over here we have our four different colors. So we have the teal, the pink, the white, and the black. If we want to ungroup this, then we have all our different layers and we can change the colors of them if we wanted. So that's how you add text to your SVG. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can let me know in the comments or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.